he cheated with glamorous women glamorous lady really, women that are going to those yeah. glamorous women to my wife that is my second reason excuse me so guys what will you call this type of men you know the lady's husband what will you call those that claim natural and then go for artificial i can't help <laughs> hi guys hello so my lovelies so my sweeties hello this is your girl ttk i'm back with another telling it just the way it is that series so guys stay tuned stay tuned grab a cup of cold drink i've got mine here relax sit and let's chat let's chat guys my name is kemi jinodo in case you're stumbling on this video for the very first time if you have not subscribed please click on that red button down there somewhere click it and you will never regret it and for my returning viewers thank you you're welcome as you can tell from the subject or from the topic of this chat when i will repeat when you ask guys which type of women do you prefer artificial or natural 95 percent i can guarantee you 95 percent of men will say natural but then again side chick a b c d and e you know them side chick she's artificial they are artificial from head to toes are our men confused or is it that they don't know what they want leave your comment there let me know what you think before we continue with this chat <laughs> you feel offended if there are men out there watching me this um chat is nothing against men we love our men we love our fathers we love our brothers we love our husband we love you all we're just stating the fact right now so guys stay tuned when i refer to artificial in this chart i mean looking a certain way i mean physical i mean dressing a certain way enhancing your natural beauty by maybe wearing applying makeup on your face having some kind of extension in your hair you know do you know that you know what i mean manicure pedicure in a way that makes you artificial in that context that is what i mean by artificial as opposed to you going out of your house looking the way your baba god created you if you know what i mean looking the way god had created you like no makeup no extensions you know just looking that way that is what i mean by natural okay i just feel i should clarify that well i have to start by saying there are some women out there who right from time from youth they never liked makeup makeup was never their thing you understand and their husband met, met them like that that might even be the attraction all well and good it's very very important that i i point this out all well and good nothing wrong with this because it's very important that we embrace ourselves we love who we are deeply so that is who they are okay so it's very important i mention that i discovered that some men married their fashionable wife at the time and then gradually changed them into becoming natural men have a subtle way of doing this some men and i mean some men not all men men usually these men have a subtle way of doing this they start by first criticizing women who do those things that you are doing like for example maybe wearing makeup short skirts short dresses trousers it could be anything and as soon as he starts um, criticizing these women you as the wife don't want to be seen doing these things you want to satisfy your husband you want to impress your husband so you to gradually drop those things that he he your husband begins to criticize and these are the things he saw from the very beginning some men have a subtle way of doing it and some just go direct some will just tell you i don't want you to be wearing xyz anymore well my lovelies <laughs> well my sweeties <laughs> anyway let me continue with my chat it's well there's nothing wrong with men 
telling their women what they would like to see them wear or what they would like to see on them. In fact, I know some men who like their wives or their women to be glamorous, you understand, to be very glamorous. And there's some other faction of men who love their wives or women to be sexy, if you know what that means, sexy. There's some men like that, really for real. There are some men like so there's nothing wrong in we women doing what our husband wants us to do. But guys, my focus and my bone of contention today is men who claim natural and then go for artificial. I can't help but to question their intention and motive in the first place. That is the focus of my chat today. Men who prefer, who claim they prefer natural and then go for artificial women all the time. Men are moved by what they see, vision. They are moved by what they see in the first place. I mean, physical first. Physical first, whether we like it or not, they are moved by what they see. I know a lady, I know a lady, a fashionable lady, but way back then, who changed everything about herself to what her men want or will prefer. She stopped making up, she stopped doing her hair, she became natural. You understand? Natural. She goes out without all these things. She even changed her church. She changed the church she attended for her man. So guys, personally, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with willing to change, as I said earlier. Provided you're honestly and sincerely happy with these changes. Okay? This brother and sister are committed mountain of fire believer and in that church those things are so much acceptable and welcome most people that go to that church don't wear all this um, earring makeup and all that this brother was fully a committed mountain of fire believer guys let me bust your bubble <laughs> Let me bust your bubble. This lady has caught her husband, this mountain of fire brother believer, cheating four times. Four times with different women, four times. I have to give this lady some credit. She's a generous forgiver. I think, you know, those are part of the things they teach them in, in church. You're supposed to forgive your husband. So she keeps forgiving him. But one thing she cannot understand is that her husband cheated with the same people, the same type of people she used to be. He cheated with glamorous women, glamorous lady, women that are artificial from head to toes. Those women, those women were opposite of what she is right now. Like I said, they are glamorous. They had makeup, hair extensions, and all that jazz. <laughs> they had it on. You understand? She, if she could not phantom the reason behind this. She said she would have understood if her husband, at least, if her husband at least mixed them up a little bit, you know, dating some of her. <laughs> you can't imagine the things coming out of her mouth. But she said at least mixing them up a little bit dating our current type you know the ones without the earring and then the, the the glamorous mixing it up then she will understand that maybe he is exploring but this her husband went back to dating what she used to be when they just got married and she couldn't get over that so guys what will you call this type of men you know the lady's husband what will you call those type of men those men who are like that lady's husband are not telling the lady to change due to their preference. Take it from me. These men love glamour. They love glamour. The reason those type of men, not all men, no, I don't want anybody to misquote me or misunderstand the point of this video. Not all men, but this type of men. The only reason, most times the reason why they change their wife completely it's not because of their it's not because of preference most times is due to first selfishness second possessiveness take it from me they love glamour those type of men <laughs> you know no man or man should look at my wife admire my wife toast or toast to my wife of course no man or man wants other men to admire toast 
or you understand or keep looking at their wife lustfully but if you're changing a woman completely for this reason this is on another level it is not healthy <laughs> it's not healthy secondly some other men will not be doing what i will be doing to those glamorous women to my wife that is my second reason excuse me <laughs> thirdly is control and power of course once a woman subjects herself to that she is aware that she's no longer as attractive as she used to be no other man or man will admire her like she used to be admired all hopes and reliance on a man becomes stronger the man gains power absolute this power. woman or this lady will look up to her husband for all those you know every now and then compliments we women like compliments sometimes and this husband better be given it and did, do you think this husband gives this type of compliments <laughs> after subjecting her to that so guys let us do a little exercise here based on what i have told you so far about this lady advise her in the comment section what do you think she should do just give us some advice in the comment section and so as i was saying this man better be giving us some compliment because I after a while she will start losing her confidence this guy will kind of dent her self-esteem in a way particularly because he started cheating as well he started cheating as well and he stopped her from doing those things that she used to do not like he stopped anything but it does affect you emotionally cheating with the same people with the same type of women you've condemned in the past you know cheating with those women who wear those things that you the husband has like prohibited her from wearing she'll begin to question herself question her looks question her value question her esteem it kind of has some effect it's very crucial it's very imperative that we women we women must first understand and know who we are before we get married we need to be confident we need to be able to express communicate negotiate and compromise but not at our detriment it's very very important not at our detriment you know without fearing that the mind the man might leave or that the man will not go ahead with the marriage if by being herself or by expressing herself after all there's something the guy sees in you in the first place for him to say or make up his mind or make that decision that i want to marry this lady i can assure you that that thing that he saw is very much still there what we agree to in the early years or we compromise or sacrifice in the early years of our marriage will affect the future either negatively or positively so we need to make wise decisions and this decision and the choice i am going to end by saying don't start playing a good wifey at your own risk be a good wise wife hard value don't take away value be again i will repeat a good wise wife hard value to you don't take away from you <laughs> Hard value to you, don't take away from you. It's very, very important. You know, it's very common among we women that we start with something, want to be this good wifey, that we will later regret. We start with a decision. We make some decision that we will later regret just because you want to impress the man. That is not you from the beginning. You understand? Let him know who you are from the beginning. Let him see the real you. It's very, very important. Be a good, wise wife. Today, okay. you need to make wise decisions, wise choices, compromise. The so, sentence. my lovelies, so, my sweeties, let me love you and leave you. Have a nice day. Have a nice week. God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, don't keep it to yourself. Come on, don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Please share this video. Share this video. Share the love. Share this video. ta -da! Bye-bye.